Laser GRBL is set to use the default bottom left origin, no extra setup required. Now let me introduce to you the use of Lightburn and Laser GRBL. Here are the official websites where we can download them for free. Then I will introduce the interface of Laser GRBL for you guys. These are menu and log bar for file import, configuration and log monitoring control and movement panel for menu adjustments including speed, direction, and distance, control icons at the bottom used for various functions during engraving, laser GRBL currently supports image file imports and G-code files, the support for vector files is experimental and limited to SVG files, which are now the mainstream vector file format used for laser engraving, we recommend using images or G-code files when working with laser GRBL. Earlier, we mentioned that GRBL's default origin is side in the bottom left corner. Let's try it out by importing an image. Click Next, adjust the speed and power settings as needed, and then create the job. This way, you've completed the import of the image file. You can click File and then Save Program to export the file. You can operate X1 wirelessly via the web interface to start the engraving process. If you are using a wired collection, make sure to select the correct port, click collect. Use the directional keys to move the laser height to the desired position. Click set origin, and finally click start to begin the job.